हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरुज यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल एन इजेक्टर प्लेस इन द इंटायर वैक्यूम सिस्टम ऑफ कंडेंसर एंड वी विल स्टार्ट वाई वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वाई द वैक्यूम इज इवन रिक्वायर्ड सो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक and then we will cover how functional uh, requirements are being completed by ejector so let us understand this in detail welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video So friends we are covering steam turbine different topics in this series of videos and a uh, few of topics we have already covered which i am listing here or marking you can go and uh, see these uh, these videos in steam turbine playlist in my channel and uh, ask any question if you have so now the next topic is high exhaust pressure so uh, this is related to condenser so i thought let me first cover the basic purpose of condenser vacuum ejector and then i'll go to this exhaust pressure uh, thing so let us continue to our today's topic so let us understand why vacuum is uh, even required in condenser and how vacuum is being created or maintained so what we are seeing here is an ideal rankine cycle actually in plant there is uh, no ideal cycle there are some differences so let me first tell what difference will come so 1 to 2 1 to 2 what we are seeing here is a pump so this is nothing but boiler feed pump okay bfp so once the boiler feed pump increases the pressure here the pressure is increased now after that this is a constant pressure line right there is no increase in pressure so this is not going to be the case in uh, actual plant because you know once you increase the pressure boiler goes into economizer and then goes into drum and then goes into superheater so if water has to flow from bfp to eco to drum there will be always uh, delta p otherwise why it would flow so this is a reduced pressure if we call it p4 so p1 would be greater than p2 p2 would be greater than p3 and p3 will be greater than p4 so there is always delta p right always delta p that is the resistance caused by this uh, equipment like economics there will be tube so it cannot happen that you enter a pressure of p1 and exit a pressure with p2 so there will be always losses so that is why this line will not be actually like this this will be something like this so that is the difference between actual cycle and the ideal cycle so this was one topic difference between actual and ideal now so there is a 2 to 3 boiler where you are adding the heat and 3 to 4 is turbine 3 to 4 3 to 4 is your turbine turbine is what where uh, you are uh, 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 introducing the steam into the turbine and taking its work output from uh, machine 
and now here comes the role of vacuum why vacuum is important so you see this line which is from this point point number three to point number four point number three to point number four this is the work done if I am able to reduce this line I mean uh, sorry reduce this point for somewhere here so what will happen I'll get something more as a work output right so this is why we need vacuum you want this point number four to be as low as possible why as low as possible so that your this particular work done is increased whatever you are getting you are getting in between these two points right and if you are able to reduce this pressure to here so you what you will get you will get this much amount of extra work so that is why vacuum is required this was a very basic uh, thing but I thought let me explain when I am explaining uh, the topic and so this is where the condenser start right heat rejection 4 to 1 4 to 1 this is 4 this is 1 so 4 to 1 is heat rejection and where heat rejection happens it is in condenser so this is condenser uh, which is in earlier cycle 1 4 to 1 condenser so to in to decrease the pressure or we can say if we to increase the vacuum there is a ejector system installed which is connecting at the top of condenser so the, uh, another angle to understand why vacuum is uh, I mean lower pressure is required or negative pressure is required so let's say uh, we have a turbine symbolically we have a turbine like this right uh, this turbine is connected to this vacuum like the, my there are some blades like this so here is the steam entry here is the steam out please excuse me for my poor drawing and I am doing it with mouse so it is difficult so you know so if you understand there is a steam going inside the turbine if I put some pressure here some amount of positive pressure so what will happen it will cause a kind of resistance of uh, flow which steam try to come into this uh, area it will cause some amount of resistance if there is some positive pressure even in a millimeter of water column so that is why this will reduce your work output here because then steam will whatever here there are high pressure so steam will go but as it moves towards the last stages of blade there will be reduction in pressure and at the axis if there is some positive pressure so it will hamper your entire work done in turbine so this is another understanding of simple understanding of reason why you need something here something here to pull pull the gases pull the air pull the non condensable gases so that this cycle follows like whatever steam comes it gets settled into these tubes and get condensed so this is how a understanding of uh, why ejector system is required or why even vacuum is required Another important point um, many of you might know but uh, man, um, many might have not noticed also. So you can see the flow in condenser uh, pattern. There is a entry from bottom and there is a partition. So water cannot go beyond this which is cooling water inlet cannot go beyond this and here also there is a separation. So whatever water is going here is just half of the section it will go and 
it will travel like this it will travel like this so the cooling water is there and now in the second uh, uh, once it has traveled the half of the condenser there was pressure uh, these uh, these tubes will be from where the water is coming out and there there is no water because so the source is here so what these water tubes will uh, do these were entry of this water and then there is a exit so this is how the construction of uh, any condenser uh, is there so entry from bottom all bottom half tubes are filled with uh, cold water and then whatever water exit it goes in the second half top half of the condenser and here it is exit so what will happen the coldest is here on the bottom and relatively hotter are there in the top so what will happen here the steam will come uh, so steam where it will be most hot here so this will interact with this and when it is getting cooler cooler then it will re react with this coolest uh, part of cooling water so this is another uh, key thing which i tried to explain <clears throat> so now coming to ejector so what we have seen so it uh, in the previous slide this is condenser and something of this kind injector will be mounted on this not exactly mounted but connected it will be uh, maybe uh, this is on 0 meter then it will be on 7 meter floor or uh, this will be on your what you say can say ground floor then it will be on the first floor something like this it will be connected through a pipe so uh, let us understand the concept behind it so here you can see there will be a steam so maybe it is a medium pressure steam which is 18 to 19 kg per centimeter square so this steam goes with a nozzle in that ejector and here you have connected your condenser like this here you have connected so what will happen this steam will go and this will try to find a place where it is outlet the least resistant path is this so it will try to move here and as it move along here so naturally if you think that Bernoulli's law in place here there will be low pressure created because here there is a very high pressure steam which is following so what this steam will try this steam will try to move everything which is present here move everything which is present here so steam if you are pushing here so if air or any non condensable gases in condenser all non condensable gases will try to go along with steam so what you are doing you are putting all this condensers non-condensable gases and those are pulled by your steam so here what will happen mixing mixing chamber so here all gas and steam will mix now there is a throat where there is a throat where there is a minimum area or venturi and here the pressure will reduce pressure will reduce and velocity will increase so that it passes very fast and it can create all that uh, low pressure area where your gases from condenser can join in and once the purpose of this all sucking of uh, non condensable gases is done then you have your uh, divergent nozzle where your steam uh, whatever was coming with uh, air it uh, reduces its velocity so in this section what will happen pressure will increase and the velocity will decrease so this is how this entire system will work and physically it will be looking like this installed in a horizontal way uh, this uh, this will be the installation this is not vertical installation this horizontal installation will be there 
So this is how the ejector system works. And there is another uh, ejector which is called hogger which is used in startup only. After that the hogger is cut off and there is a uh, ejector SJAE. Normally there are two uh, SJAE and one hogger in every steam turbine plant. Uh, so this is startup and this one working plus one standby in normal operation. So this is how the configuration. Hope I have tried to explain it uh, the topic. If you have any question, please ask uh, those questions in comment section. And if you have liked uh, the content, please, <coughs> please uh, like the video. Thank you very much.